in both cases extreme position will be same before and after falling where velocity is zero so here first of all we will use frequency formula so frequency f is equal to we can write 1 upon 2 pi into square root of k divided by 400. Here we will take g is equal to 9.8. So the frequency will be 0.6 hertz. As k value is here 5, 6, double 5. Now, let's take the multiplication of kx1 and x2. Here we have x1 is equal to 0 0.69. So, kx1 will be equivalent to 400 gram. Sorry, it's a 400 times G. Now, let's do it same for the X2. So, X2 here is 0 0.39. So, the multiplication with the K will give us the answer. It's 2 to 5 times G. Now, to calculate the amplitude, we can write A1 is equal to A minus X1 plus X2 is equal to 10 centimeter. So in this case, frequency F1 will be is equal to 1 upon 2 pi square root of K upon 2 to 5 is equal to 0. 798 hertz. As we know, hertz is the unit of frequency. So, according to this, we can draw the diagram again as first, there will be a natural length. I'm writing this as NL. Then come to the mean position. So I'm mentioning as MP. And then it will come to the X term. Or I can write EX term. Now let's mention the distance individually. So this distance is y2 and this is a2. So in the second part, let's again calculate ky so first for y1 is y1 is equal to 0 0.69 so ky1 will be equivalent to 400 times g and 
y2 is equal to 0.39 so ky2 will be equivalent to 225 now let's talk about the amplitude so in this case we can write it is equivalent to y1 plus a is equal to y2 plus a2. Now let's put all the values here and rewrite this formula in terms of a2. So we will get a2 is equal to y1 plus a minus y2 which is equivalent to 70 centimeter and from this we can calculate frequency f is equal to 1 upon 2 pi so in the square root k upon 2 to 5 so is equal to 0 0.798 hertz so this is the frequency